Are we recording already? Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. We are two bears. Life.com. I'm Deffy. And I'm Alex. And uh, today we want to talk to you about um, a special topic um, that's actually really close to our hearts. Yeah. And it's about gay tra travel basics. Before we start anything, please um, let's get the subscription stuff over with. <laughs> <laughs> please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. It helps us grow our channel, which is nice, and uh, we get featured more if we have more subscribers. Mm -hmm. And uh, which means you find the subscription button here, you find the bell here, click both of it, and give us a like on this video. Mm -hmm. And leave a comment also, if yeah. it's okay. Give us the comment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, today we want to talk to you about um, a topic that is really dear to our hearts. Gay travel basics. Why? Because we love to travel. I think it's part of a relationship, right? We have been traveling and growing as a couple. Growing. Growing. In, <laughs> in every direction. In every direction. <laughs> uh, no, but it's something that we really like to, even if it's in a country that is really close to here or something. A little bit more far is something that we love to, right? Mm -hmm. And what do you say to people who are actually surprised because they... That we're a couple? <laughs> <laughs> is there actually a difference between gay travel basics and just general travel basics? It should not, but sadly there's a difference. Yeah, sadly we are not living in a world yet where uh, the issue does not exist. And that's why, um, as, a, as, a, as a gay couple, of course, we have been confronted with certain issues um, that we have. you simply have to deal with if you're gay and you want to travel around. And uh, yeah, that's kind of knowledge we want to share right now with you. So let's start with our yep. gay travel basics. One, the first issue we want to tackle, and it's really, guys and girls, it's the most important one. It's check the gay rights of your travel destination. Yep. There are 10 countries uh, still in the world where you can be killed for being gay. Mm -hmm. And over 70 to 80 countries where it is still illegal and you can um, go to jail, yeah. be imprisoned, be fined for gay uh, behavior or being gay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sorry, and this includes also our friends from the other LGTB community members, you know? Yeah. Gay in this sense means being LGBT. Or the LGBT. <laughs> <laughs> For example, you see a really good price to go to um, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, hey, this is a really cool country. Um, Alex, let's go to Jamaica. And, <laughs> and Alex says, no, Diffy. And Diffy's like, why? <laughs> and Alex says, like, because we can be killed. Yeah. Um, fun fact. You can actually be killed on the streets of Jamaica for being no. gay without any problems for the person who kills you. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're not gonna go there. <laughs> no, and why we're not gonna go to the... Because we, we have friends who have been going to, you know, to, to these countries, maybe in a resort, so they are not really exposed to the locals and they feel a little, bit, a little bit more safe. But why we, personally, we will not go to one of these countries? Well, I mean... Um, Let's say it more clearly, for example, Dubai. So we have friends who went there and it was not a problem for them. Um, do we go there now? No. <laughs> no, because um, we decided as a couple uh, on principle, if there is a country where by law <laughs> I can be killed, I'm not gonna go there. If there is a country which outlaws being gay, um, I prefer not to go there and uh, put my money into this country. I'm not gonna support mm -hmm. this kind of uh, no. tourism. Um, every, you know, in the end it's my, uh, it's my or it's yours, ours. It's, uh, it's our or your <laughs> decision to do that. But um, yeah, we consciously said we are not gonna support these kind of countries um, because there are enough beautiful countries in the world yeah. that we can f uh, go to. Um, the only exception is when you have to go uh, for a transition. If for example, if we go to um, Tokyo, we travel the last time and the next time we will travel with um, Emirates. Emirates. Emirates most of the time transfers over Dubai. Um, we can go to the Dubai airport as long as we are not gonna um, actually leave the airport. The moment you leave the airport you are in Dubai law. The moment you're in the Dubai airport um, you are still in international law and you're protected by law. So they cannot do anything to yeah. you. Um, and if you want to be risky, ask Gigi Gorgeous. Yeah. 
I mean, even if you try to enter the country and you're uh, transgender or and you're pretty visibly gay, um, it can be that you're not, that they don't even let you into the country. But that's a different topic. Yeah, that's that's not so what we're talking about no. here today. Um, but yeah, um, the, actually the first point, which we haven't e really even started, is check the gay rights yeah. of your travel destination. And the first, um, in my mind, even the biggest, easiest uh, solution to use is Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. We will uh, leave the, the important links down below. On Wikipedia there is a section called uh, LGBT rights by country. Really easy to check up on and there it actually says the legal situation. I will include or we will include a second link there which is for the, the human rights campaign. They also offer a section on their website for, uh, for travel destinations for countries. They have a map which actually tells you exactly the numbers, uh, where it's punishable by death, where it's outlawed. And they also show you where you can actually get married, uh, which is also nice. And uh, yeah, that was the first point, the most important point. And uh, really, really, if you want to travel somewhere, please check up on it, because it's not worth getting killed. No. <laughs> <laughs> the second point is check on social acceptance. And what do you mean by that? Uh, like, for example, let's say Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Where to be gay is not illegal yet, yet. <laughs> but they are, and we hope it never happens. And anyway, but uh, they have these uh, certain uh, laws that can affect you, mm -hmm. like if you hold the hand of your man or something like that. It can be considered gay propaganda, and that can be trouble, right? I'm not sure if you can go to jail for that if you are a tourist. But definitely you can get Yes, I mean, that, uh, I, I honestly think that's a really extreme example, but it is, it is a val valid example. Uh, I mean, in a less extreme way, uh, let's compare it to Tokyo. Because mm -hmm. on, uh, in Tokyo, we never had any problem. Nobody was unfriendly with us, but in Tokyo, uh, the social... Um, I mean, in general, you shouldn't show too much emotions <laughs> and affection on the street, even as a straight couple. They don't do that. And, uh, if you do it as a gay couple, they uh, look at you even weirder. It can happen. Yeah. It didn't happen to us. Not in to You know, Tokyo, um, Tokyo City is really modern and open. I think it. Uh, what we've heard, uh, if you go more to rural area, mm -hmm. to the countryside, it can be more that you get weird looks. Um, but that's all. But like we said, uh, check the social acceptance of your travel destination because you just don't want to go and get any travel you don't want to provoke the people in the end you're the guest yeah. and uh, if the people there are not used to gay people holding hands or kissing on the street ask yourself is it really necessary to do it um, <laughs> or would you just prefer to have a nice holiday without any problem and uh, yeah we're not saying hide, hide yourself do whatever you want we're just trying to give you tips on how to have a nice holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three. Check the gay scene and what they offer for you. Um, this does not apply too much for us, to be honest, because we are not the, those party people. But a lot of a lot of people in general like to party when they go on holidays. Or and, saunas. Or... Uh, yeah, for straight people, I mean, it's easier because you can pretty much guarantee that wherever you go, there is at least a bar or at least uh, some kind of dance club. Um, for gay people, um, you should check up first what kind of gay scene you would like, and uh, if that stuff. Where you where you can find it? Maybe you should even consider booking your hotel in an area where the gay neighborhood is. So if you like to go out, um, check where the gay neighborhood is and maybe book your area your hotel in that area because then you have, can have more freedom to go yeah. out. Um, because it depends. I mean, for example, in Mexico City, uh, how is the gay neighborhood called there? Zona Rosa. Yeah, you can book your hotel in that area yeah. and then you have way more freedom to move around without paying anything extra to go to different. Uh, social, no different gay clubs. Yeah, clubs with different themes. You know, the gay, the, the bear clubs, the the general gay clubs. The mm -hmm. I don't know. Like yeah, the twin but clubs. this is important. For example, if you are coming to a city in Europe and you are expecting to go to a bear place, for example, you might be surprised that there are not all the cities have uh, like too much demand to have uh, these kind of clubs for a specific uh, group. Yeah, in a lot of European so. cities you can be lucky to find gay clubs, not gay specific. Yeah. <laughs> um, but just check up on it first so you're not surprised about it later. Yep. 
um, four. Four point is dating apps, and in general, like how can I say it? Like gay guy apps because mm -hmm. there are also some apps within them that they are not really date apps, but you know they offer you like maps where you can check bars, saunas, restaurants, hotels. We will we will more. include a, a couple of good lists down below in the link section yep. of uh, apps that we know yep. and are useful. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yeah, the, the cool thing about this is that, you know, some of them they have content generated by the company, some of them are by their own members, so you can, you know, use a regular uh, dating app and just say, hey, hi, to someone, and if you're lucky, somebody's gonna be friendly with you and kind of give you an advice where to go. Do you have examples for dating apps or for social apps? I, I, I use Hornet mm -hmm. back in the day. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, they have also content for, um, uh, News, places to go near you, and all the stuff. What other apps do we have? Uh, Time Out Magazine, the mm -hmm. app. Oh, that's true. They... Time Out Magazine, they also have good content for LGTB members. Mm -hmm. And we will put some in the links below. And if you know uh, um, apps or, uh, you know, honest oh, sources, more sources. More sources, and because most of them are very um, country oriented or territory oriented. For example, we are from Europe. Um, we just know those. Maybe you have you have different experiences. and yeah. can tell us in the comments. Yeah, section. leave it in the comments. Really cool. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell to not miss our next videos. So yeah. really nice. Now we go to five, five, five. This is five. <laughs> um, LGBT offers um, for hotels and airlines. Yep. There are some airlines and hotel chains that they offer specific offers for LGTB members uh, in a specific cities for in a specific seasons most of them depending if it's the bright season which is at the middle of summer so check online i know that iron mexico has special offers for um lgtb members in a specific seasons for example in the pride season uh, to go you know what in is the pride season at the middle of, of summer oh. in most countries and yeah there are also some hotels you can check online most of them they have offers yeah, there are some hotels that actually have uh, like the gay friendly tag. Um, to be honest, we haven't used those too much because um, we have made the, exper uh, the, the experience that once you go to a country which actually has uh, accepted gay rights where there's not a problem, we, we have not faced any problem with, with hotels. Mm -hmm. There is uh, some countries, for example, we're in Turkey, um, where uh, there is not a problem with rights for now. Uh, with gay people, uh, but the hotel clerk was really confused about why we wanted to share a bed. And uh, when we arrived there, he even was like, "Oh my God, we expected a man and a woman. Uh, please wait like ten minutes. We will go up and uh, <laughs> and separate the beds for you." And we were like, "No, no, no, don't worry. It's okay." And he really insisted. He was like, "No, it's no problem. It will not cost any extra. We are so sorry um, for this. This is very inconvenient." He didn't expect two men to come, and uh, he doesn't want to put us through to have to stay in the same bed. And we were like, "Hey, man, chill out. This is okay. Uh, we, it's okay for us." And he insisted, no, 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 and we're like, man, <laughs> leave the bed as it is, thank you, we like it like that. And uh, that was the only time when we actually had to talk with the hotel clerk yeah. about it, but he was never even unfriendly, he was no. just confused. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Which... because we look super mask away, so. <laughs> No, I think he was, he was just confused, <laughs> let's leave it at that. Which is okay. I mean, you don't have to be oversensitive about this topic either. Mm -hmm. Don't be offended every time. He, he was nice and he was friendly and uh, just don't be surprised by the question. And uh, yeah, that's actually it. That Those were our points. Mm -hmm. Like to summarize, first point is please, please check the gay rights of the country and the travel destination you go to. This is so important. Uh, sadly it is. But yes. The second one is how socially accepted the LGTB community is. Yes. Let's keep it like mm -hmm. that. Third, check on the gay scene and the travel destination you want to go to mm -hmm. to know if your needs are actually met at your travel destination. The four one for one check. Uh, the apps. There are a few apps over there that you can check. They could be date apps or guide apps that mm -hmm. can be really helpful. Five is check any LGBT offers that airlines or uh, hotels will offer in the area that you go to because sometimes they're there and if uh, you actually have for once some kind of <laughs> some kind of benefit from being in the LGBT uh, community then uh, please please use it. Yeah. Um, those were our tips um, for 
for uh, gay travel. <laughs> gay travel basics. Yeah, those were our gay travel basics. Yep. If, uh, we hope you liked the video. Yeah, we hope you liked the video. If you have any um, additional tips for us, um, if you or made question. and share, please share your travel experience. If you have some kind of funny stories, some kind of sad or horrific stories, please let us know in the comment section because um, it's actually important and people are really interested in yeah, that. Yeah, sharing is caring. Yeah. <laughs> um, in that case, um, please uh, subscribe to our channel, um, give us a like and uh, click the bell. It always helps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, check back on our other videos. Um, our website. Check our blog, true, twobearslife.com, where we will um, release a new bunch of reviews for escape rooms that we did because we just went to Berlin and... Yes. We are still finishing our London reviews <laughs> and we will go to Sweden and Stockholm soon, so reviews are coming. And then Rome! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's all from us. Thank you very much and bye! Cheers!